Assalamualaikum and hello everyone. In this video, I will explain a few objective questions on chemical formulae and equation. Okay, let's see this question. Which of the following statements is true for one mole of a substance? Okay, answer A. One mole of copper contains 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23 molecules. Okay. So we have copper here and the particle is molecule. So it's wrong. Why? Because of molecule. Now copper is an element. So type of particle should be atom. So A wrong because of the word molecule there. B. One mole of oxygen gas. The chemical formula for oxygen gas is O2. Uh, contains 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23 atoms. Okay, so again, the wrong word here is atom uh, because oxygen gas is a compound. Uh, so, type of particle for compound, covalent compound is molecule. C. One mole of water contains the same number of atoms. One mole of water. Water is a covalent compound with formula H2O. Okay. Same number of atoms. Uh, the type of particle should be molecule. Uh, as in 12 gram of carbon 12. Uh, 12 gram of carbon 12 is equals to one mole. Uh, because 12 gram over molar mass is 12. So the number of mole is one. Uh, even though the number of mole is the, the same, uh, but because of the word here. Uh, so, C wrong. D, one mole of carbon dioxide contains the same number of molecules as the number of atoms in 12 gram of carbon 12. Okay, one more carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide, CO2. Contains the same number of molecules. So, the type of particle, correct. Okay. One more. Uh, as the number of atom. Uh, atom in carbon. Uh, also correct. Carbon is an element. So, the type of particle is atom. And how many mole in carbon here? 12 grams. So, molar, uh, the mass is 12. And the molar mass is 12. So, it's one mole. So, number of molecule in carbon dioxide is equal to number of atom in uh, one mole carbon. So, the answer is D. Okay, next question. What is the number of atoms in 0 0.5 mole of ammonia gas? Okay, see? Ammonia gas is compound, covalent compound. So, it the type of particle is molecule, but the question wants the number of atoms. So, in one molecule of ammonia, it consists of one nitrogen atom and three hydrogen atoms. So, four atoms altogether. Okay. So, number of mole is 0 0.5. Then, you times uh, four because four atoms times Avogadro constant given 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23. And the answer is D. Next, what is the number of molecule in one mole of ammonia? About the same question uh, just now. Okay, but this time, number of molecule in one mole. So, you just 1 times Avogadro constant given here is 6.0 times 10 to the power of 23. So, the answer is B. Okay, diagram 2 shows three types of substance. Huh? When you get a question with diagram, so you have to study the uh, diagram thoroughly, eh? 1 mole of liquid X, 2 mole solid Y, 3 mole gas Z. Okay, which of the following is true about the substance in diagram 2? Uh, 
uh, 1, the number of particles in gas Z is 3 times uh, 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23. This stem statement is correct uh, because 3 more, so you have to times 3. Uh, all the substances have only 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23 particles. Uh, wrong. Uh, Okay, because Y and Z has 2 mole and 3 mole respectively. Okay, 3. The number of particles in liquid X is less than in gas Z. Yes, correct. Because liquid X is 1 mole, gas Z is 3 mole. The number of particles in solid Y is 2 times greater than in liquid X. Uh, also correct. Because y two more and x one more, so the answer is one three and four. D. Okay, so that's all from me uh, in this video. So see you on my next video. Thank you.